will use your own stolen information against you. They will attempt to change your behavior. The story of Watch Dogs 2 is about how DedSec is trying to allow people to regain control over who they are based on the information that's out there about them. That's him, Marcus Holloway. Who is he? That's the guy who could help us change the world. Watch Dogs 2 is about a hacker named Marcus Holloway. He's a very gifted and smart young man who ends up by getting profiled and accused of a crime he didn't commit. That opens his eyes as to all the inequalities that are out there and how the system is being used against people. He's fighting for injustice. This system that's in this game, CTOS, it puts labels on people and it doesn't really take in who they are as people or whether they're good. It just says they're high risk, you need to treat them this way. And so he starts working with DedSec in order to show people what's happening, but more so to help take down part of the system that's being used against them. T-Bone comes along getting DedSec to go, yes, we have to make a stand. We have to be the good guys. Nice hat. Nice mask. They are the David against the Goliaths, but they have something special that David didn't have. Like, they don't have a sword. They have the entire internet. The Goliath is all forms of establishment. So big corporations, some people in those corporations trying to use technology for power, for money, for control. And also the government is part of the establishment. So various corrupted people inside of those factions that you're trying to fight against. You're going to be dealing against rival hacker groups. We're going to be dealing with corporations trying to get power, manipulating politicians, trying to get money. Basically trying to know more about you than you know about yourself so they can predict your next move. One of the challenges you're going to be facing is to figure out is there a link between all those people? Is it just random abuse of technology or is there someone with an agenda? And that's what you have to figure out as you unveil that corruption in the establishment. In Watch Dogs 1, we explored surveillance a lot. You know, how technology could invade people's privacy. In Watch Dogs 2, we're interested in something called big data. Big data, really what it means is all the stuff we do online, all the information that is recorded on us. When we were crafting Watch Dogs 2, we definitely wanted the players to come away thinking to themselves, holy crap, I didn't know this existed. We started looking at how people are being predicted and potentially manipulated. You come into Watch Dogs 2 and you now are at the heart of Bloom. You see what happens when they're able to take all this information and compile it together. They don't see anything wrong with compiling this data. But what happens when you've got somebody who acts as the middleman between Bloom and the data that they possess, and they start doing something, pushing their own agenda for it? That's where you have somebody like Deshan come in. He's the CEO of Bloom, which is a company that collects and distributes the data from all different kinds of other organizations. Think about like the amount of control one, kind, one person can have if they literally own and manipulate all information, all data about every single person, that in itself is kind of like, it's kind of like God. And that essentially is what the limitless of what Dushan's capability is could turn into. If I'm going to separate how Dushan and Marcus differ, I would actually say it's what is it that they're willing to do in order to win. Who does the Shan sacrifice in order to accomplish victory? And what is Marcus willing to give up or what is he not willing to give up in order to do the same? Marcus doesn't come in with that idea of I'm gonna save the world. He comes in with a fuck bloom, they fucked me over, so I'm coming after them. You know, the defenseless trying to defend themselves. We are the ones that can step up and defend for them. We've all been broken down into our most core components as far as information is concerned. We have no control over it whatsoever. We have no say over who uses it. We have no say how it's used against us. If there's no way that the people can know what's happening, then things like this happen. Hackers step up and figure out the truth and then they divulge the truth to the masses. All that data at Bloom's fingertips, that's like the world's most powerful monopoly. This is systemic injustice at its highest level. Let's show them what going to war with us really means. It's up to you to decide what side you're on or what's right and what's wrong. But at the end of the day, this story is exactly what is happening today. Namaste.
PS4 for the players.